always remember like seeing the seal of the Child Protective Services, and I just remember them asking for my name. And then I was in a car and I was off to Polinsky. Nakia Bruton can never forget the moment he entered into the foster care system. At six years old, he would spend the next 11 years going from temporary homes to group homes to different foster families until he was adopted by his dad. It became confusing and then it just became a normal way of life, you know, carrying your things from one place to another. I'm um, losing a lot of things, losing a lot of important things, sentimental things, and just getting used to where am I going to go next and never really having a place to settle down. And because of that feeling, he's become an advocate for foster care children. Monday, he participated in a news conference organized by the People's Association of Justice Advocates. This is about the kids. The organization, led by Shane Harris, is pushing for a number of changes within the foster care system. Harris, who also grew up in the county's child welfare system, is working to secure guaranteed income programs for foster kids to supporting AB 2906, which would ban counties from taking foster youth survivor and disability benefits, to pushing the county to remove the word case when referring to foster youth, something Nakia says still bothers him today. It's really damaging to, you know, your self-esteem. Uh, you start to not even see yourself as a child, a person. You just kind of think like, oh, I'm just the the next the next one in line like you see yourself as like a number as opposed to a human being Marie Cornell ABC 10 news